Shred Nation, JB. God bless you all. Hey, I've got a brand new backing track for you today. It's called Ascension. It is hard rock and blues kind of mixed in. Some, some great blues flair, but it absolutely rocks. It's also very note heavy. Uh, and so when you record it, you want to make sure you have a, a good bass. I, I use my uh, uh, Fender Jazz bass to, to kind of augment all the songs that I write. Uh, and with, when, especially if you're doing a rhythm that's note heavy, having that bass behind the guitar really sounds good. Uh, so we'll get into that in a minute. What I'm going to do is I'm going to roll through the song with you using the recorded version, my recorded version, and, and me playing rhythm over that version so you can watch what I'm doing on the guitar. I'll adjust the camera uh, before we start. And then uh, then I'll break it apart for you and we'll just go part by part through the song and um, then you should have it by the end. It's not super complicated, um, but it's just very busy. Uh, so you'll enjoy it. The other thing, a little housekeeping on it, please make sure you subscribe to my channel. It would really help me out a lot. Um, and then also, if you know anybody else that would benefit by learning some cool backing tracks that aren't real hard to play and record. Um, and then what you do is you just daisy chain eight, nine, ten songs in a row, and then you just hit play, and you just play leads for, for 45 minutes. Man, it's just great, great practice. Wonderful way to practice, and I've always practiced that way, which is why I'm teaching it this way. Anyway, we'll do that. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and adjust the, the camera for you. Let's get down so you can see my last ball. All right, this is a uh, a custom reissue of the 1960 um, Les Paul, and it is a lot of fun to play. Um, it's great for playing Zeppelin covers and and a, a lot of the, the early Rush and that kind of stuff. It's just a wonderful, wonderful rock guitar. I love it. So, uh, and I picked it especially for this song because this song is is fairly hard. Uh, from a rock standpoint, um, it's not metal though. It's more like early Rush, uh, and that kind of thing. So, without further ado, let me stop my drum machine and let's go ahead and play through the rhythm on the song. <laughs>
it. That's ascension, all right? So before we get started, let's go ahead and set our drum machines. Now, I found a, here's the drum track. What I did was I, I picked a blues track, a blues drum track for it. I knew I was gonna play or to make the song heavy rock, but I wanted that blues flair. And so I picked a, a drum track uh, and I set it at 100 beats per minute, 100 beats per minute. Okay, and so that's what you're hearing right now. So let's go ahead and break the song apart. So the intro is just that open E, okay? And then it goes, you're, you're just gonna be up here between your 14th and your 12th fret. this on the second and the third string what I'm doing is I'm pulling on the 14th fret Two 
parts. Go back and review. Let's just start from the beginning.
right, so let's go ahead and review. That's basically the whole song. You roll through that whole thing um, three times, okay? And on the third time, you end it by going... Like that. So let's review. Let's start from the intro. Ready. song. So let's go ahead and run through it. 
and I'm gonna do it with my backing track and I'm just gonna play the rhythm. Um, the parts that you wanna play the lead to, I think. Okay, that part you wanna play the lead to, but let's go ahead and roll through it. There's three of those. Ascension. So please make sure you subscribe to my channel. Uh, I'll be up with a new uh, backing track for you in about a week or so. In the meantime, take care and rock on. I'll talk to you later. Bye.